How you doing? And welcome to Steve Buffery's Caviar Dreams and Champagne Sports Rant of the Day. You know, I've, one thing that's really got me worked up, and it's nothing new, but this, with this week's uh, reunion going on in Russia with, for the 1972 Summit Series, it really it bothers me to no end when you think about it that Paul Henderson is not in the Hockey Hall of Fame. I know it's an old topic, but particularly with Paul being under the weather these days and fighting uh, this illness that he's fighting, it, it, just, it bothers me to no end that I do yourself a favor. Go on the Hockey Hall of Fame website and look under honored members. And of course, there's some great players there. But look at some of the players that are in the Hall of Fame and compare them with what Paul Henderson has done. And I know and Henderson has been accused of being a one-trick pony. His detractors say that he shouldn't be in the Hall based on the fact of only one series. The fact that he scored three game-winning goals and, of course, the goal of the century in Game 8. Uh, to give Canada the series. But if you look at his body of work, yes, that was, his, that was his, uh, the, the biggest thing he's ever done. But this is a man who toiled 13 seasons in the NHL, the best league in the world, and he was also a junior hockey star, actually led the Hamilton Red Wings to a Memorial Cup title. If you look at some of these guys who are in the hall, it's not just what they did in the NHL. A lot of them didn't even play in the NHL. It's what they either did in international hockey or what they did complementary to what they did in the NHL. And to me, Paul Henderson meets that criteria tenfold. I just don't understand why he's not in. Politics has to come into play. It's an absolute disgrace. And the people who vote in players to the Hockey Hall of Fame should be ashamed of themselves. This is Steve Buffery for QMI Agency.